Hi, my name is Chris and I made a little app for the iPad. So when you start the app, I call it um, Octatrack Screen. You just see the screen of your Octatrack on the iPad. So I, I need this small lens here and uh, well, the screen you see here you can adjust. So for instance, you can change the frequency. So the, the, the draw removed is flickering and also exposure and some other parameters. So we can reset it now to the default values. And I also implemented kind of um, detection of the screen. So when I press this button here, the screen, you see it here, is detected automatically. So this is the main mode. So here I just see the screen. So you see, this is the screen. And um, I also implemented kind of um, a manual. So when I press here, I see the pages of the manual. And I can choose one, for instance, filter, and then see the informations for, for, this, well, for this page, for this mode. So in this case, this page is the amplifier. And so this would be the manual for, for this mode. Then I also implemented the detection of this mode. So when I press here and I change on my octo track the mode, the system automatically detects the correct mode and shows you the manual for, for this. So for instance, now we have the LFO, or here is the filter, and you see now, this information here corresponds to this, to this mode, to the filter mode. Or here, for instance, the plate reverb. And this is also possible for the setup menu. So some of, of this parameter here has some, well, Mm, not so usual names and here now you see like the manual for this setup page and well I think the detection works not so bad sometimes well for instance here LFO setup it's okay it's just this page but sometimes well detection is a bit unsure and shows you the wrong page so then you can change it manually For instance, here. So well, I I hope you you like this this little lab, um, and please give me uh, please uh, uh, give me some feedback. Thank you.